You take an oath to save lives, and tonight you'll be going to midnight mass and glorify no room at the inn. That baby's dying. His blood will be on your head. And I'll splash it all over the Irish Times in the morning. God damn you! <laughs> Matron blushed four shades of a room <laughs> and admitted the child on the spot. A thousand thanks, Mr. Honey. Don't think I'll ever forget you. Christ, you've done us a kindness. May God and his holy mother love them. And while I slipped on the few quid, well, a bit of Irish justice won out tonight. Now then, let's go out from the town. First stop, South Ann Street to visit the mass. Hello there. You have the little lad back from hospital. Isn't he looking very dawny? He's so quiet. I always said that that's too quiet. Not natural for our boy. Man, he's looking around at everything. He's looking at Christmas. Show all the children to be out there with the excitement of Christmas. You want the advice of a mother-in-law, Ivan. See to it that Bowsie stays home tonight. Not of the red bit. You can get bad drink Christmas. Now, we're having an at-home tonight. Sure, you're invited. Come, forgive me. I needn't tell you, Charlie, but I wouldn't penetrate the north side of the city if the Pope invited me. <laughs> Give me our side of the living. I haven't crossed O'Connor's Bridge since the troubles. <laughs> Not being a snob, but there's a certain little something divides the north siders from the south side. <laughs> it's in the eyes. <laughs> nah, you sound like you're only flutered. <laughs> Fluter, as God is me judge, I haven't had me this or cheery on yet. Is it anyone going to ask, have I a map for me, me this Christmas Eve? I want to be a little cheery. I want to be a little Christmas cheery on. Just then Uncle Nile bounded in off the boat for a minute, his big pockets full of surprises, and his beard scratching as he kissed us off and threw me up in the air. He opened a bottle and tossed the cork at the back of the fire shelf, where Annie Gabriel throws all the bills. Slodge a man, and here's to Annie Gabriel, the man. Sounds to me, no, no, like you're only stoptious. Sure, Christmas comes but once a year, he said. I wait all bloody year, designing bloody sludge boats in bloody awful London to get home for Christmas. Sure, what else is it but the, the, the wee drop in? And he took up a broom like it was a rifle, and he started to say, Oh, this is his regret. The Sergeant said, Don't you want to make a soldier out of your son, Ted? Uncle Lyle had a mica for Shalom, and a mechano set for a baby designer that Uncle Lyle played with all during the halls. Hey, John said, we got a cabbie waiting outside. Come on along, we're doing our Christmas shopping. We went along the enchanted way to Beulies to buy a Christmas cake with a snowy village atop on and icing, and then for cough from Elsie, our favorite waitress, who'd been in the sand with that. Elsie asked, what well, you have the most? Everything's off as far as I know. Sure, we close early on a Christmas Eve. Thank God, because I'm spun out. Everyone's going mad this Christmas. But yes, I'll come in for a nice sit down and a chin wag. You know, I always put aside some almond buns and cream cakes, because you're me boyfriend <laughs> since you were that far. And uh -huh. will you look at the little doors, the wee sign? I like the kids. But yours are tongues. <laughs> Simon's been in the Klonsky hospital with a chist like his dad. Oh, he's got out the poor. <laughs> well, he'll be in the bosom of his family this Christmas. Thanks be to God. Climbing back into the cabin, swung into Moore Street, where the shawls <laughs> and vendors could be heard like a raucous chorus. Three hatreds, the oranges, <laughs> lemons for the Christmas punch. Flowers of violets for Christmas. <laughs> Smashing Christmas crackers, ten shillings a box. Uh -huh. Mechanical liars, tires. <laughs> Silver bells for the Christmas tree. Shilling a bunch to celery. Stars for the top of the tree. Two shillings a box 
that it can all just... Oh, I said, let's buy some of those tangerines, all wrapped in silk. Tangerines, please, I asked. Ah, you mean the little oranges. <laughs> buy the little oranges for the little children. You have to have the little oranges at Christmas, because on that first Christmas Eve, the little shepherd boy brought the little oranges up the little bag in the store. And your Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without the little oranges. Get your stars for the top of the tree, two and six pence a star. And I'm friends off with a salmon. You can have the whole lot. All the stars for sixpence. <laughs> sixpence for all the stars. <clears throat> you can never leave it. Oh, hand me down me petticoat. Hand me down me shawl. Hand me down me button boots. For I'm off to the linen ball. Brendan being lumbered into the Eli Place news we were converting into our studio home. He reminisced about the days he was a painter in John's TV ward. Oh, there you are. There you are, Sean, the old Sagotian. How's the old chest? Last time I saw you, Sean, you were dying in that woe be gone bed near the door. <laughs> Desperate. And at the night it sang, and I painted the dingy ward. Puke grin. <laughs> me first respectable job, house painter. Well, didn't we get me first story published in the Bell magazine about you dying in the sand with your calm? Smash an irony, how you better than F and quacks. <laughs> was in Lullaby Land. Stopping by Camille's to get her paintings, she checked on her children. First stop, she thought she'd try the posh, new only coffee shop in Kiel. And I had yearned to visit it all summer. I was suffering from coffee withdrawal badly. <laughs> We've been having only turfy tea boiled over that turf fire. Now as we sat in the bay window, feeling like royalty, savoring Viennese coffees served in china cups with dainty cakes. It was a change from our daily homespun soda bread I baked over the fire every day. Camille summoned up the courage to sell her paintings. A few tours were conversing about their golf scores. I stood by Camille, holding her paintings for the tree Protestant lady to view. Uh, I'm a Dublin painter, actually. This is a seascape of Ackle here. I would let it go for five guineas, actually. This is a child at the well, four guineas. No, 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 was all the hairpin could spot her. Nearly hysterical, the Philistine. All she cares about is money, getting tourists in, wrecking the island. Her suburban coffee shop destroys Apple's harmony. Awkwardly dragging the paintings, we ran all the way to the captain's, where Camille was a well-known regular. Soon as he saw us, he laid a pint of porter in front of her. Brett 